Happy lunchtime, Cersei High. I'm Bella Simonelli with Pride TV. And I'm Drew Thurman. On our first show, we share a story about our school's FFA program with Becca Collins, an interesting insight on the impact of technology at our school with Trey Heaton, and an interview with Isaiah Lawson on how this year's choir season is looking. Pride TV starts now. With the fair wrapped up, we wanted to look into what the FFA students are up to next. That should be epic. Becca Collins asked Mr. Safley and Lawson Neal on what they're going to accomplish this year. FFA is a student-led organization that allows them to learn about agriculture, animals, and helps the club achieve leadership capabilities. FFA is a student organization for young men and women who are enrolled in at least one semester of an agriculture education class. and. Um, the students that choose to join that, that club pay their dues and then that makes them a local member, a state member, and national member. The chapter at Searcy is led by a group of students called FFA officers. Members are able to come to the officers with ideas and things they would like to do or change. We talked to FFA officer Lawson Neal about what he plans to obtain from this course. I joined FFA because of the family environment that's there as well as the learning experience of the work industry. It's not jobs where you're sitting behind a desk but jobs to where you're working with your hands. FFA partakes in the fair each year. It is a great opportunity for members to learn new things and show what they have done during CDE season. Currently right now it's in fall semester we have several students that are in our livestock show program. Those are FFA members that have selected to actually choose an animal to raise and exhibit at the fair. FFA has helped me with leadership abilities from just visiting with different people as well as helping to lead the chapter. And it's also helped me with basic shop tool usage and safety for everyday projects. This club is beneficial for many students. It helps them learn about the agricultural field and teaches them how to apply that to everyday life. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Becca. It's great to see how a class can change a student's mindset. Yeehaw! Maybe I should take that class next year. Now let's take a look at the other side of town on how technology is impacting our education. Sounds electrifying. Let's tap into Trey's story on technology. Technology has become a major component in the system of education. Even the dreaded phone is getting acceptance as the classroom tool. In the U.S., it has changed the way people learn nowadays. While a whopping 86% of educators indicate that use laptops in classrooms the most, about 58% of teachers use educational apps, 41% use social media, and 21% use 3D printers. I asked a student of what she thinks about the school's recent change in technology. Yes, I think that having a computer available will help kids with homework that they didn't finish or if you need to email a teacher or check your grades, you'll have a computer available. I think that students probably rely too much on computers because of how much they can help you with your work and they might use the internet to get their work done faster. Mm -hmm. But I do think that it's good to have computers, have access to computers at all times. And 80% of 8th graders reported using computers for schoolwork on weekdays. The number one thing I use computers for is projects, like on Google Slides, because you can do stuff like that on your phone, but it's a lot harder because the screen is so small. So probably projects. 86% of classrooms are using computers. I think that, especially with writing essays, because you have that grammar check as you're typing. So if you didn't have computers and you were just having to write it, I think that that might lower your grade a little bit because you don't have that extra help. And 80% of 8th graders reported using computers for schoolwork on weekdays. The percentages of students using a computer at home and using a computer for schoolwork varied by students and family. Um, I think it's useful, especially for um, the work and on classroom and stuff. Classroom is really helpful because teachers put all their assignments in there. So. Honestly, we kind of don't have any other choice but to use the computers because students 
because teachers put all the assignments on classroom. I wish that students could take computers home if they don't have access because there's a lot of homework that would be better to do on the computer and not all students have a computer or internet um, so I think it would be helpful to check out a laptop and take it home. Education has evolved tremendously over the past centuries from one room schoolhouses to public and private schools. Forms of education and how we receive it are always changing. Wow, that was shocking. You're right. Now on to our new segment, Bruh Moment. We're counting down some epic fails that will really make you say bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. That was zesty. Yeah, I really like bro moment. Me too. Props to the person who created that. Now let's chat about lunch. For lunch, we're having chicken strips, Trix yogurt, mashed potatoes, broccoli with cheese, hot rolls, milk variety, orange quarters, and peaches. Sounds like another great lunch from our awesome lunch ladies. Be sure to thank them. Before my stomach starts growling, let's continue on with our last story. Which is a package on one lucky student's experience with choir. Take it away, Jordan. Our season begins and the talented students in an amazing extracurricular begin a new year of singing. We decided to touch up on this new year. <laughs> Choir is doing a lot to prepare for the coming year. We talked to some students about how they're going about that. I'm really excited for this year in choir just because we're trying out a lot of new different things and uh, I'm lucky to get to be a part of quite a few of them. So uh, it's going to be a really fun year. Content wise, the majority of it's the same. I guess it might be a little bit more structured uh, time wise, but the um, majority of it's the same. Under the direction of Miss Fudge, the students are hopeful for a successful year in choir. This year it's really kind of clicked a little bit more since uh, we've been with Miss Fudge a little bit longer. So I think this year we're going to have a pretty good shot at doing what we did last year, going every group getting an award. So it'll be It'll be a pretty cool experience to meet everybody and do it again. As you can tell, Isaiah Lawson is very excited for the upcoming choir year. We hope everyone else in Searcy High School is as excited as Isaiah and we at Pride TV are for the upcoming choir season. I think that story deserves a song. Care to sing? Well, Searcy, that's all we have for you today. If you miss an episode, make sure to go, go to searcylinepress.com and click the, click the Watch Us link. If you have topics for us to cover, hashtag PryTV on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. And last but not least, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Cersei High Lion TV. Stay tuned for the next episode of Pride TV. I'm Bella Simonelli. And I'm Drew Thurman. Have a great day, Cersei.